Well, this is Darwin Harbour in May. We've got Darwin in backdrop in the background. And over here we've got the naval base. And this is Kane Dysart. A mate of mine, a gun angler from Darwin. We're just fishing around the groins here for some, well, Trevally, Queenies. Queenies, yep. Golden Trevally. Now, Dar Darwin Harbour, Kane, tell us a bit about the fishing and the fish in Darwin Harbour. It's very seasonal, Bill. Um, this time of the year we start to get these southeasterlies, uh, strong winds. Can make fishing a bit difficult, but there's a lot of lee shores you can hide behind. Um, there's a lot of fish, different types of fish you can catch. We've got pikey brim in, in huge numbers this time of the year. A lot of you southerners probably don't realise how many brim we actually yeah. have up here. It's not all barra. Um, queenfish, trevally, long-tailed tuna. Plenty of opportunities. Okay. It looks to me to be, just for those who don't know Darwin Harbour, I'd say it's probably a third the size of Port Phillip Bay and, I don't know, a bit bigger than Sydney Harbour? Yeah, I think it's about five times the size of Sydney Harbour, so there's a fair bit of water we can, okay. we can explore potentially. And what are we, what are we doing uh, this morning? We're going to just jig... Yeah, we're actually just working uh, a rock groin here where there's a big eddy forming around behind it. And a lot of bait usually concentrates there and the queenfish and trevally generally hang out in that area. So okay. And just using uh, lead jigs, metal jigs like this little bait fish? Correct mate, yeah. Okay. You can even use soft plastics, um, anything jigged up and down on the bottom tends to okay. work with these fish. Seems to me we had a couple of casts over at the groin there just before and it was about probably 15, 25 feet of water. Yeah. Around about five metres, yep. six metres deep. Yep, it's a, it's a good little spot there, but we've got the naval base in the background. It's naval waters there, so we can't venture too far into that. We'll get back out here and Okay, and get over the groin and give them a go. Right on. Okay, mate, there's a rip. In there, Billy. Queenie's all over the place. Only little ones? Yeah. There we go. They weren't huge, Kane. No. But going down that Lewis size certainly helped, though. Yeah, they get a bit focused in on what they're eating, these little fellas. Bring them in the bucket. That's amazing. Them. I'll keep him. Awesome. What a lovely little queen. Bait. Yeah? Yeah. He'll go out as a rigged swimming bait on our next trip out. Kane, Darwin Harbour is well known for its artificial reefs, unfortunately caused by wrecks bombing ships in World War II, dating right back to when. There's also a lot of wrecks here from Cyclone Tracy. Oh yeah. It come through and wiped out yep. a lot of boats. So yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky in that regard, but there is a lot of a lot of areas we can fish. You can just see some fish busting up front there. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Um, which looks promising. So these wrecks, the main fish that uh, that's on the black dewfish, Black jetfish, golden snapper, um, oh yeah, estuary cods, yep. uh, moonfish, plentiful moonfish or batfish. Um, yeah, all, all sorts of reef species. Okay. Techniques here, you, you anchor on them, bait fish, live bait, yep. soft plastics. Best way is generally anchor up ahead of it um, and, and drop your baits back in, in front of the reef. 
Or the wreck? The fish, uh, the predatory fish tend to sit on the pressure wave in front of them a lot of the time. We expect to get queen fish here, maybe GTs. What else? About to find out. Yeah, I think we've hooked onto something here, mate. Um, could be a queenie. Feels pretty substantial. It's going hard. Yeah. We saw them bust off, bust up just out the front of this point. There we go again. Got him. That's a cool. That's a good queenie. That's a good fish. Oh, it's off. Oh. Right at the back of the boat. Hasn't jumped yet. No, it feels like a bit of a bottom dweller, actually. Like a cod or something. Oh, it's a good sized queenie, mate. Is it? That's a good fish. There it goes. Usually these fish put on a bit of an aerial display. All right. Oh, look at that. Nice. Fish. That's good fishing to be five minutes out of Darwin. Yeah, we're pretty That's lucky up queen. here. Um, looks like he's got a bit of a remora on his side. Yeah? Swimming back around here and cook. Not done yet. I don't think he's had it yet, mate. I'm just using normal barra gear here on this, yeah. this guy. <laughs> he's actually giving me a bit of stick. It was a queenie that uh, took mine, just took it about a metre at the back of the boat. Hang on, he's not finished no. yet. a bit of drag off. And these pelagic around the points here come on on the run out tide. You can see the tide making here. We've got a big spring tide. You were saying what before, seven metres of tide to run off out yeah. of the harbour here yet. They use the tide to their advantage and, and sit on these points in the eddies and, and ambush the prey as it's flushed out of the harbour. I think he might be done now, mate. Beautiful. Hey, what a fish. Get him in here. You're a bit psycho in the boat. So. <laughs> yeah. Kane, that's a good queenie for that Darwin Harbour. Really? How good's that? And that... just have a look at what he did to your lure. I'll just get it out of the net here. Absolutely demolished the lure. It's actually, I'm not going to be able to get it out. It's taken the back, back of the lure right off. Look at that. I've just pulled the pulled the treble out the back of the out the back of the lure. Hard fighting fish. They are tough fish. Not quite a meter. Here we go close. But It'll no. go close. Good fish. Good on you, buddy. Thanks, mate. Let's go catch a few more. Let's go get you one now. That's one. Yep. Not big cane. Good boy. I tell you what. I think I got hit. 15 times on that run before I could actually hook up on something. Sure you still got him? Yep, I don't think it's a queen fish. He might just be coming towards the boat. Yeah. Ah. Oh, a little trevally. Little trevally. Very, very small trevally. They grow a lot bigger than that. Now what's that, a little GT? A little giant trevally, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we're hoping to get, something that's maybe um, five or six kilos. They hit me all the way down there. Now, these guys grow to, what, 10 kilos, and they're serious, serious sport fish at 10 kilos. Oh, around and here, bigger. they get to about 15, 20, but... Really? They have been caught up to 100 pounds, so... I'm kidding. Well, we'll let this guy go. It's obviously a school of them in there. I hope some of his uh, bigger brothers and sisters are there. Whoops. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Trevally, I'd say. It's taking a bit of line. <laughs> yeah. It's coming up, angled. Yeah, it's coming up. Could be, a, there, could be a Jason's queenie. It's about to jump, I think. I threw a few poppers about, but they haven't really been... Most of the fish this morning seem to be down down on the rock and reef, don't they? Yeah, they're down. I can see them on the sand, they're in mid-water. Okay. There's a lot of bait showing down there as well, so... 
He's coming up. Coming up now. It's a good queenie. Yep. Look at that. Good queenie. See him out there, Jess? There he goes. He's Half hearted. Something to look out for with these guys is they often come up with a few of their mates following behind them. So it's a good good thing to have another rod ready with a popper or a chromium just in case. You right there, Bill? Yep. Oops, there's, there's two or three mate. behind them there. Yep. Have a look at them. <laughs> Just throw us a net cane. It'll keep him in there. Keep him in the water, mate. You have a bit right. of a throw. Okay, look at the way that here lure is. Excuse me, just get this over here. Lovely looking fish. This will probably go nuts in a minute. Got those buggers there. It's a good, with these queen fish, it's good to get hold of each end of them because they do thrash about pretty madly and it's quite easy to wear a hook if you're not careful. Big fish, almost a metre this one, maybe not quite as big as yours. Well, they go close. Beautiful colour, yeah. Now, are there any danger areas on this fella? Yeah, the danger areas here, Bill, are these spikes down here, which could go straight through your hand. Right. Uh, um, we got a little one before and we both got cut open. Yeah. They've got teeth as well, but it's mainly that big spike down there. Right. The anal spike. He's a lovely looking specimen. Yeah. We'll spear him in and let him go. Thanks again, mate. Great fishing. There he goes, oh look at that. What a great fish. Oh. <laughs> Where'd I go? Here he goes. 